Happy Halloween! Noisemaker. Hi everybody, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I just said that, but for some reason my intros are always the same and it's just a habit. But my name is Misty and I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I am going to show you a haul that my dad has picked up at a flea market. I try to get him to be in these videos sometimes and he's just sometimes camera shy. So he just wanted me to show you guys these things and I'm working on getting him being in more videos. So we'll see. Now, those of you that have been subscribed to my channel, you know that I have also owned a brick and mortar antique store called Wildflower Antiques. We have decided that we are going to close down our brick and mortar store and just kind of focus on either setting up at shows or um, selling things online or possibly doing antique booths. We just don't know yet. So we're working all of that out. We just didn't want to be tied down to four walls. So anyway, we are still buying and selling antiques. I'm still going to do these haul videos. I'm still going to film while I'm out Wildflower Antiques and we'll be having some upcoming live sales. So make sure that you keep an eye out for those because there's, those are going to be coming very soon. All right. So dad did very well, I think. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this little girl here. She is a celluloid little uh, Mexican hat girl. She's a toy. And when I wind her up, you can see her little hat spins. Isn't she fun? She probably will spin this entire time I'm making this video. She doesn't have any maker's mark on her, but the comps that I have looked up, she sells in unworking condition. I had seen her for about $25. So I could probably get about $35 to maybe $40 for her in her pristine working condition. Her hat's still going to spin a little bit. We'll let her have her fun. But she has her little wind up right in her back. And she is really, really fun. I think she was a great find, especially in this kind of condition. You don't see these normally in really pretty, pretty much unplayed with condition. So she was a good little find. So we'll set her aside and let her do her little happy dance over there. All right, another thing that he picked up was this vintage bicycle bell. And so you'd attach it to the your handlebars. So you just push this and it makes that lovely old fashioned -y bike bell sound. Now this didn't have any maker's mark on it, but like I did with this little gal right here, when you're doing an eBay search, you just, I think I, with her, I just listed or I just started typing in vintage celluloid Mexican hat twirling toy or something or other. And you just kind of scroll through until you see, sometimes you find the exact same, the exact same thing. Sometimes you find something that's almost the same. The colorations may be a little bit different, but it still gives you an idea of the value of your item. I did find um, sold listings because it's very important that you not only look at what items are listed for actively, but that you also pay attention to what the sold comps are. Because I could list this for a million dollars all day long and I'm never going to sell it for that, but I can list it for whatever I want to. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the sold comparables to see what the actual value is. Now, since this guy doesn't have any maker's mark on it as well, I will do the same thing, vintage American flag bike bell and see what I can come up with. Now, I would say that this probably maybe, maybe nine to $10 is what I will be able to list this for on eBay. It, it, it does have um, all its components to be able to mount it. So that's an important thing too, that it's complete. So I think that was a good, good find for him as well. The next guy is, this was a fun little guy. Dad is swears he's a donkey, but he's not. He's a horse. It's made by Makuni. It's M-I-K-U-N-I. -I. It's made in Japan. It's supposed to have a rider. He does still work. He does still hop around when you put him 
on a flat surface, but he, he's missing all of his little friends. So that will affect the value of it a little bit. He also is missing his ears and his tail. So I'm not sure what, what I can get for this exactly because I haven't seen a comparable of this exact horse in this exact condition. So what I will do is probably look at um, what the comparable listings are for it being in complete condition. And then I'll just kind of take it down from there and do best offer and see and see and see what happens. So very cool tin lithograph toy from probably the 1950s. He's probably gonna hop around. I think he's I think he's safe to sit there. All right. Another couple things that dad picked up. Now, I believe that these are both from a train set. They're a lithograph graphic. This one is really neat. It also appears, dad seemed to think it might have been a bank, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that it, it went to a train set of some sort, but you can see, look at the graphics on there. The drugs and soda restaurant, the fire department, the kids chasing after the fire department. And then you can see here all the commotion. People are still wanting, you know, telling the fire, the firefighters where to go. And you can see them, the little Dalmatian dog there. And they're racing off to the fire. You can see that old fashioned card. Now these are probably from the 30s or the 40s. And um, it appears to be, for, I believe it's from a train set. Now we couldn't find exact comparables for this either. So we'll just try to find something that's as similar as we can and then list it at, at a fair price and then do best offer and see how that will go. It does have a little bit of issue here on the back. You can see some of the paint has chipped off just, just a little bit, but all in all, it is in excellent condition. Great condition. This stuff is highly, highly collectible. And I want to say that dad said he paid I want to say $20 for everything. You'd think I would remember, but I don't. I want to say that for everything I'm going to show you, he paid about $20. All right, so this is another part of a train set. This one is marked um, Winner Transformer, made by the Winner, Winner, W-I-N-N-E-R, Toy Company, New York, New York. Now, this was supposed to have a train transformer inside this building, and I can't remember. Yeah, this, the roof just slides off. And so inside was the basically the, the transformer for the train set. Does not have that anymore. If it was complete, it would make it worth more money. But it's still a cool piece. And this is the train station. Still really good coloring and lithograph on here. Does have a little dent and a little bit of damage right there. And a little bit along, along the roof line. But this is something that I'll take detailed photos of. And we'll list that in the listing. And it, this appears like, I think just from people trying to shove the roof on and off, it has just a little bit of denting in there. But still a really cool piece. And it would look really neat just, just on a shelf, just like that in any display. Or for an avid train collector that will be looking for those. Another lithograph piece that Dad picked up. And these are things that I really like. And I'm debated on keeping this, but I don't think that I'm going to. But I don't know, you never know with me sometimes. And it is this really cool Halloween, happy Halloween noisemaker. And it is marked USA and it has a TC, boop, 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 right there. And I, right off the top of my head, cannot remember what it stands for, but it's not a Kirchhoff and those are, um, Kind of a well-known lithograph noisemaker brand that had a lot of clowns. Um, that has two of the little wooden mallets here. But the subject matter is Halloween. And vintage Halloween is a great thing to find. It's a hard thing to find. But it's got this little witch and she's coming out of the pumpkin. And the pumpkin's eyes are steaming. So she's fun. Look at her face. And she's scantily dressed too. She's a scantily dressed witch. But it's, it's in really good condition. This is probably from the 1940s, so it is, it is old. And um, these can go for upwards $30 or more. So he did really good with this. He knows anything vintage Halloween is good. He picks it up whenever he can. All right, this next item is... So 
something that we researched a little bit and we've came to the determination that the tr cab doesn't go with the trailer. But, so that's a bummer. Um, the trailer, I mean, this cab it has seen better days. It has been wrecked, wrecked. And actually, I might be able to just, I haven't decided if I'm just going to still go ahead and throw them on together or if I'm going to list the trailer separate and, I don't know, maybe still try to sell the cab because it is in some rough shape. But it is made by Linemar. You can see there. That's the only marking that I see on it anywhere. But it's a very cool truck. It is missing its hood ornament. Doesn't appear to have ever had a steering wheel because the bed of it is flat. So it's unfortunate that we don't have the original trailer that goes with it, but it's still, it would still make a really cool display piece. And there are a lot of collectors that it, sometimes it doesn't matter that it has a lot of damage on it. They'll want it and they'll restore it and fix it up to its, to its former glory. So haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. But the trailer is pretty neat, and I don't think it says it is Pacific Intermountain Express, P-I-E. And the trailer itself is in really good condition. It has a little door that opens up in the back. It has all of the tires. They, they're not rotted out at all. It is a metal toy. The graphics on it are very good, so this is in really good condition. So... This, you never know with these toys. Some Sometimes they'll, they can do a lot better than what you think, but they're always worth picking up if you can get them for as cheap as Dad did. So definitely. I mean, it's got some little scratches on it. I would say it's in played with condition, but it's still in good condition for its age. All right, still don't know if I'm going to list those together or separate or what I'm going to do. These next two things I'm excited about, and he got these for free, so that's really pretty exciting. The first one is this vintage Fisher Price. I thought that I had the date on this one. I want to say that it's from the 60s. Sometimes the date is on these, but it is the Mary Mouse Wife. Isn't this so cute? Look, she's got her little broom, and it's she's got her original pull string. And she is made by Fisher Price. She's got a little issues with her graphic, as you can see here. It's peeling up a little bit there. Um, it is made in the USA, but the graphics on this are still in really good condition for its age. And she's got her little maid feathers. Oh, she's so sweet. Now, I have seen similar ones that are selling for about $35 to $40. So on the Little Mary Mouse Wife, that is really good find. These are not very common and Fisher Price toys are making, they've kind of had a comeback and I think that they're retaining their value right now. So this is something that I'm going to get listed very soon, but I just, and I don't know, let me see. Yeah, when you move her, her little broom goes back and forth. She's cleaning the floors. She's a good little Mary Mouse, Mouse Wife. So a lot of times they're missing components and she's complete. And then we also have this little Fisher Price, probably from the same era, era, I want to say from the 1960s. And it's just this little parrot. Now I have figured out what his name is and I have forgotten what his name is, but he does have a name. He does have his original pull string. Now when you're, when you're looking these up, a lot of times they will have a number underneath here. You can see he, he is number uh, 698. And so you can type in vintage parrot Fisher Price 698 and you will find comparables for him. His paper is in great condition. He's just got a little bit that's coming up there. The ones that I have seen, they were missing their tail feathers or they're missing their his little top feather. So he is also in complete condition with his original pull string. And I, oh, I don't know if he's, maybe he's supposed to make that. Yeah, he's supposed to make that sound. Yeah, he's supposed to be, that's him squawking. He's a squawking bird. So he is really neat. Again, he will bring probably about $38 to $40. I'm, I'm going to clean him up a little bit. I might just kind of touch up 
his paper there with a little bit of Elmer's glue just on the tip of my fingertips and hold it down a little bit to get that paper to not peel off anymore. So he is a really good find as well. So dad did really good. And that's it. It's a small but mighty haul. I think he did really good. Well, I'll have to let him know that he did good because he's always asking me, did I do good? Did I do good? And he knows what he's doing. He's taught me how to do all of this. He just doubts himself a little way too much. So you did good, dad. I'm going to get this stuff listed and we'll see how it goes. And as, as any, if I'm showing anything that you see here, if there's anything that you're interested in, you can leave me an email. My email is in the description and I will give you a shipping quote and we'll get it sent off. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I will be going to the shop this week and I will be filming some videos there and I will be, still be going live at the shop on Friday morning. So make sure that you tune into that. And if you like this video, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.